Hi everyone, um, I'm back and we're going to do some maths work. So before we start our maths work, I was really pleased to see on the White Rose site that they did a Days of the Week song and we always do ours, so shall we do it together? Days of the Week, Days of the Week, Days of the Week, Days of the Week, Days of the Week. There's Monday and there's Tuesday, there's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, then we stay at home. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. We come to school for five days, Monday through to Friday, Saturday and Sunday, then we stay at home. Days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Now I'm going to use the White Rose video, which you can go on. There's a link on the school website. Um, just a quick note to parents. I am going to start posting a lot more of the videos on Seesaw, so make sure you get signed up to that. It just, it'll help with copyright reasons, etc. Um, not that I've got that enough <laughs> subscribers. So for this video, what we need, and I just realised I haven't got everything. You will need a bit of paper. You will need a pen or pencil, that's what I had to go and get. You will need some sticky tape and something to throw. Now, in the um, White Rose recommends pom-poms. I didn't have pom-poms, so I cut up some Christmas ribbon. And then, because I've got to throw it, I tied a little knot in it just to make it a bit easier. So, all these activities are based around... The Very Busy Spider, or it could be another spider book. I don't think I've got The Very Busy Spider at home, but I do think I've got Spinderella. So I'll make a video of that tonight. Anyway, here we go. Let's go through this together. Down we go. Here are all the different spider books that we could be reading. And then the next thing that we need to do is make a web. And webs, we did a little bit of work on patterns. Webs are very complex patterns. So we're gonna look at how the spider makes a web. Okay, let's look closely and let's see how good Miss Downey is at drawing this. And then I can't wait to see how good you all are at drawing yours. Okay, so I'm looking at the first one. Okay, here's my spider and he's gonna go up I think then does he go across down like that down like that oh I might need to go down to there oh I have to go twice oh then maybe oh, I see maybe up Across. I don't think we need to take it off. Keep going. Ooh. Maybe down, across again. Down, across again. Ooh, I'm going to go diagonally up. I'm not sure I've done this right. Mine doesn't look quite like this. Then we go into the middle. And we go round. And round. And round. And round. There's my web. It's not very good. I can't wait to see yours. I think they're going to be a lot better. Okay. So then the next slide we have is you could make a very creative web like that. Love to see some of them. Or we could make a 3D web out of tape, which is what Miss Downey did. Here it is. You can't see it very well, but there is my tape web. And because of where we are, I made 20 flies. So the idea is you throw your flies or roll your flies down onto your web and see how many get caught. Oh, that one, two, three, four, Nine, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now hold it up. How many did I catch? So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I must have missed one because I know I've got four on the floor. And what did I know about sixteen and four and twenty? I wonder if you could tell me the answer to that as well. Bye.